Chapter 4 Energizing Foucault Quote, I know very well, and I think I knew it from the moment I was a child, that knowledge can do nothing for transforming the world. Maybe I am wrong, and I am sure I am wrong from a theoretical point of view, for I know very well that knowledge has transformed the world. But if I refer to my own personal experience, I have the feeling knowledge can't do anything for us. All this is not related to what I think theoretically. I know that's wrong. But I speak from my personal experience. Foucault This chapter will single out the element of the energetic in an attempt to relate it differently. The energetic was initially approached in the first chapter of this book with Wolfgang Dietrich's interpretation of the Dionysian in Friedrich Nietzsche, after subsequently establishing the link between the energetic and a certain understanding of the spiritual in the second chapter. This analysis will now be furthered by taking into consideration also the concept of power. Using Foucault's power as starting point, but ultimately going beyond Foucault, an energetic power will so be ascertained. From such an energetic account of power, it should become possible to retake the notion of the self, as it is formed in relational and transpersonal becoming. Turning the attention towards the variable, that is, the energetic, and Dionysian element in the art of the self, and in light of what has been outlined so far in the course of this study, it can be assumed that this approximation to the Dionysian will not result in a theory trying to cognitively grasp the Dionysian moment in all its facets. The task at hand consists much rather in attempting a shift of perception which allows one to come to an understanding of the Dionysian without having to rationally know it. I will begin to approximate the possibility of such a shift in this chapter. However, this topic in its different forms and facets leaves a constant trace throughout this book. Four point one Approaching Power Of all the works which Michel Foucault conducted during his life, the notion of power is one distinctive feature that stands out, with attention rising over the years. After the early interest in Foucault's work by his peers and contemporaries like Jean Baudrillard and Gilles Deleuze, Attention to the aspect of power has substantially risen over the years, with many of the current leading post-structuralists referring to this notion, among others, Agamben Butler, Dillion, Dreyfus, Atkins, and Pinfat. It has become the most debated, contested single part of his work the most fruitful, but also considered by many the most outrageous. Thiel. After proclaiming the death of the autonomous subject, with his two major works on science and discourse, The Order of Things and The Archaeology of Knowledge, Foucault changed track in his investigations and started to focus on that curious interplay of forces that make the subject who she he is. The focus of this epoch is not yet the preoccupation with the active practices of the self, which would come later, but on the contrary, with how the subject is constituted more or less 
from the outside. In the course of this undertaking, Foucault famously argues the existence of power as a strangely intangible force, a force which forms individuality, but unlike the Marxist or Freudian renderings, is not repressive, but on the contrary, productive. It is a force which cannot be possessed or wielded by single individuals, not transferred in democratic elections or through contract as it is not something that is, quote, acquired, seized, or shared, something that one holds on to or allows to slip away, Foucault. It is not coextensive either with the law as the force that only says no, quote, if it were anything but repressive, if it never did anything but to say no, do you really think one would be brought to obey it? Foucault It is a force intentional but not subjective, which flows in dense networks of relationality, runs down into the most capillary parts of ourselves, which traverses us flows through us, connecting us like relays, suffuses us through its effects, forms, molds, and transforms us. Power as force, as the potential for great destruction, but is not inherently destructive or violent. In the following section, we will first take a look at the established wisdom about Foucauldian power, seeing how it has been interpreted immanently within the post-structuralist rendering. In critical distinction to this immanent interpretation, we will, secondly, establish an energetic rendering of power, and will, thirdly, relate this energetic power to the art of transpersonal transformation. 4.2 The conventional interpretation of Foucault's power Looking at the Foucauldian analysis of power through the lens of many interpreters of Foucault's work, what springs to mind is that the question of power seems to be posed always as a question of the political. Whenever the question of subjectivity arises as a problem in those analyses, it is always through a struggle over the extension of the sphere of the political. The argument that is advanced still follows the lines that the also, the personal, individuality, subjectivity, in the end, are political questions. Any critique put forth in this way so aims at an extension, an enlargement of the political sphere. Through the inclusion of that which was formerly excluded, the question that this line of analysis boils down to is the question of the inclusion in and exclusion from the sphere of the political. In this conventional rendering, power is first understood as the ability to co-determine the point of closure in this course and thus establish what has to be left unsaid and cannot be expressed. Power this as a discursive component which structures the expressible. Its terminal point also marks 
the end of life's intelligibility. It is in light of this discursive component that Foucault's focuses, for example, on the lives of infamous men, those otherwise nameless, faceless, and voiceless past existence, who remain legible for us only by virtue of a few brief and strident words, when they got in contact with the authorities and whose life comes down to exactly what was said about them. Furthermore, as example of how subjectivity is discursively shaped, not just through exclusion, but also in its inclusive moments. Foucault studies, in respect to sexuality, the incitement to discourse in relation to one's doctor, confessor, or therapist. In conjunction, power is secondly also equated with practices and in how individuality is formed within certain practices. Practices working in conjunction with discourse can here be understood as actions which make other actions or other forms of behavior possible, easier, or more difficult. Power exercised via practices so defines and structures subjectivation enabling some forms of life while disenabling others. Quote, it, power, operates on the field of possibilities in which the behavior of the active subject is able to inscribe in itself. It is a set of actions on possible actions. It incites, it induces, it seduces, it makes easier or more difficult, it releases or contrives, makes more probable or less. In the extreme, it constrains or forbids absolutely. But it is always a way of acting upon one or more acting subjects by virtue of their acting or being capable of action. A set of actions upon other actions. Fugou those two strands are commonly combined toward seeing power as the interplay of discourses and practices. Power, thirdly, is always understood as relational, as exercised in concrete and local networks. Power in the substantive sense. Le pouvoir doesn't exist. The idea that there is either located at or emanating from a given point, something which is power, seems to me to be based on a misguided analysis, one which at all events fails to 
to account for a considerable number of phenomena in reality. Power means relations. Foucault. Foucault was in a similar vein, always adamant that what he had tried to accomplish is an analysis of the concrete flow of power, tracing it in its workings as it traverses individuals through practices and discourses, but that this does not accumulate to a theory of power. The analysis of power, furthermore, always has to remain local and contingent, just like power only exists in its If one tries to erect a theory of power, one will always be obliged to view it as emerging at a given place in time and ends to deduce it, to reconstruct. But if power is in reality an open, more or less coordinated, in the event, no doubt, ill-coordinated cluster of relations, then the only problem is to provide oneself with a great which makes possible an analytic of relation of power. Foucault. Through its relational exertion in discourses and practices, through its flow in the dance, yet ever shifting constellation of micro forces bodies are formed and subjectivation takes place we will shortly highlight the functioning of this kind of interpretation of power and the example of the work of Giorgio Agamben In parts of his recent work Agamben problematizes the modern legal system upon which societies are built by retaking the decision Is he who decides upon the state of who has to remain outside of the legal sphere on which the political is built? Only on this fundamental exclusion is according. The fully political life bios in Western societies established what has to remain outside is 
bare life. Zoe, a life that does not count as political and in extreme cases does also not count as life and therefore can be killed without legally committing homicide. The only distinguishing feature of this pair life then becomes the fact that it is not yet dead coming the bare life remains outside of the realm of power and thus of the realm of subjectivation in a campaign only upon this fundamental exclusion is the sphere of power established in which life that counts as fully human can take place. Foucault describes this sphere of powers operation in the following way. Quote, it seems to me that power must be understood in the first instance as multiplicity of force relations immanent in the sphere in which they operate and which constitute their own organization as the process which through ceaseless As the support which these force relations find in one another, thus forming a chain or a system, or on the contrary, the disjunctions and contradictions which isolate. And lastly, as the strategies in which they take effect in discipline and punish, Foucault exemplified this strategic relationality of power on the example of the prison system by showing how in the strategic conglomerate and mutual interplay of prison practices discourses on criminal statistical or generally scientific bodies of knowledge accumulated a certain type of subjectivity is
what is important for the purposes of this study is that in this conventional account power equals concrete discourses and practices without Discourses and practices are all there is to power. Critique can be mounted by analyzing concrete practices and discourses and trying to determine what has been. Discerning what is absent. Critique can also object to certain forms of subjectivation, can protest against being constituted in a specific fashion. Being constituted, quote, like that by death in the name of these principles, in view of such objectives and by means of such methods, and at this price and cost, not like death, not. As such, is contested to those critiques, but a specific relationality. This concrete constellation with those. It would thus be a mistake to construe from this an all-out attack on power. The subject is always only constituted within the field. always the extension the political sphere sphere that which can be said practiced and thus lived the assumption Conducted in a full Gordian or post full Gordian vein have a lot of merit and have.
provided a plethora of fruitful and deeply insightful analysis and critiques of We will so try to disengage power from this immanent interpretation by asking the question about possible points of connection between the Foucauldian We will, for this undertaking, start with retaking Foucault's own conceptualizations on power, but establish which, while using Foucault's work as a starting ground, ultimately has to go with Foucault against the grain. Having so far given more of an overview of how power works through Okay.